Okay guys, January the 18th, coming up on 10 after 8 in the evening. And we're out here messing around with this uh, front sheet metal again, working on the header panel. Just trying to get it fitted to the car. I ran into a few issues, not bad, I'll show you some of them. And I have the original one, and I actually have a new old stock that I've had for a long time. And actually the original was fitting a little bit better, and I'll show you what I think is going on with that. So let's take a look at the car. So I've had to come back on my fenders and do a little hammer and dolly work right in here. And I've also got just a little bit of extra metal where this was folded over and welded. I'm going to lightly grind that down just a little bit so my panel can come in here and fit really flush. I've got the same thing right here on this top of the fender. Just a little bit of excess metal that I'm just going to barely hit with a roll lock. I don't want to go too crazy but I'm going to see if I can knock some of that down. When I first had the header on here as a trial fit there was a little bit of gap right in this area and I believe it was because of this piece right here was actually pushing it out not letting it lay flush. Over here on the passenger side I've got the same thing not as bad. This fender right here is just a whole lot better stamping for some reason. I believe it's a, actually a newer fender. I just had to hammer this part right here back just a little bit. I'm also going to have to dress this area. The reason I say it's a newer fender is it has the cutout right there. You'll see I've marked fill this. I believe that's one of the ways you can tell. They manufactured this particular fender from 70 to 77. And I believe that's uh, one of the ways you can tell. Is that right there? This one over here, you can see it's solid all the way through. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to actually leave that or cut that out, bring it out and weld it and uh, finish it up. So here's our front end parts. The uh, black pieces are new old stock GM pieces and the white pieces are actually as far as I know original to the car. Now I haven't test fitted the, the lower pieces yet. I've just test fitted the top pieces. The original piece there seems to fit a lot better and uh, this one does fit the black piece, the new piece, but one thing that I'm finding out is it's a whole lot tighter fit. I'm having some issues right here on pulling this in to be able to get a bolt through it. Same thing up top here. I have done some welding on this panel. When I first got it, I really didn't like it. I was really dissatisfied with it. These two pieces right here were way off and I just couldn't stand it. I did separate these two pieces and uh, lined them back up, re-welded them. I had to do the same thing for this side too. Like I said, this is this is new old stock, been in a box for 30 some years, and it's never really been mounted to a car. Whereas this one has been mounted to a car, and it just fits so much better. Because, I don't know if it's just because the metal's more relaxed, and this is more of a, a seasoned piece. I've taken the filler detective to it, and I think it's pretty solid. There is a few issues with it. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. It does have some very light pitting in the metal, which that's no big deal. There is some more pitting around here, even a slight hole right there. I'm not against using this piece here. Like I said, it was original to the car. I would really prefer to use the new metal.
Okay, so I got some of these high points knocked down here and uh, hopefully the panels will flow just a little bit better. This one up here on the top, it was, it was really bad. It was a mangled mess right here. And um, you can see it opened up just a little bit. No biggie. Uh, we'll, when we get to working these fenders, we're gonna have to do some welding to the edges. We'll come in here and we'll tack it in here. And uh, I don't know if I'll put a little piece of rod up in there and, and just weld it and grind it or, or what, but most likely that's probably what I'll do. There's a, a bezel that comes over on this anyway. So I don't know if it really needs to be welded. We'll go ahead and weld it. This one over here did okay. Every one of these fenders that I see has this uh, crinkling of the metal, I guess you'd call it. It's where they form this metal. Evidently, this is a real tough area right here. And just a question for you guys that, uh, that do this. I'm not real sure what to do there. Whether or not I should just uh, leave it. I might can hammer and dolly some of it. Um, I really don't know what the best solution there is. It's not by much. And like I said, the bumper comes around here. So, I mean, you're, it's not like you're going to see a lot of this. Well, I'll show you that once we get the bumpers on it. This other one is actually a little worse. See, it's always this driver's fender. It's going to haunt me. But right here we go. It's, it's real bad up in here. It's worse than that other side. The other side, I could live with it even if we just had to put a skim coat over it. But this is, uh, I still think the bumper will cover it, but this may need a little hammer and dolly and just to get it just a little closer. I mean, it, see if the camera will pick it up. Looks like a pretty good dent there, but it's, it's actually just ripples. But just your thoughts on that, guys. One thing about taking it this far with all the pieces installed on the front sheet metal, it's gonna give me a chance to take a good inventory. I was over there going through my boxes looking for my bolts and <laughs> I got parts in the box in there, new parts that on my eBay list, I've got them saved so I can go in there and order them for this car. I've already bought them. So <laughs> it's time to take inventory. I was pretty organized in everything on this project until we built this extra bay on the garage. Everything got shuffled around, so everything kind of got all messed up. So it's time to get organized, see what we got for the car, and then move forward. I'm actually at a place right now I feel like I could go ahead and do the doors. But we'll go ahead and uh, finish this preliminary install, and we'll see how it goes. Give you guys a good look at these brackets on this radiator support. This is a rally sport front end. And anybody that's building a 70 to 72 rally sport front end, this is what the bracket should look like. I know in 73 they changed. They got a little bit more bracketry because that's when your uh, front bumper requirements changed. So that's the driver's side, and this will be over here is the passenger side. I really don't have these bolts tight yet. Everything is still in here fairly loose. But like I said, this is uh, the Rally Sport front end. Okay, YouTube, I have the original RS upper header on the car. Overall, it's not bad. Let's take a look. Right here on the passenger side, you can see here it lines up pretty decent. It's just a slight gap right in here. I've got, there's only two bolts. I've got it pulled up as tight as I could. And so this will probably need to be addressed just a little bit, but overall it's not bad. This part down in here, it, it lines up pretty decent. This part of the fender is a little lower, but overall it's 
not bad. This over here is the exact same way. It lines up pretty decent. Fenders are a little bit lower here. And the top of it looks pretty decent. One issue that I am having is right here at these bumper mounts. And it may not be an issue at all. I just have to wait and see. You can see right there about how much space is in between that bumper mount and this lower cushion. There's a bracket that goes in here and I don't have it on here yet, but I've got a pretty good finger distance there. But over here, there's hardly any, which I find it kind of strange. Now, I can push this in just a little bit and get a little bit of it. Maybe that's what will happen, especially once I get the bracket and the lower valance on. Maybe it'll pull all of that where it's supposed to be. The one thing I like about this original panel that was on the car is I didn't have to force any of these mounting points. I pretty much just set it in place, lined everything up, and just started tightening everything a little bit at a time until I got it to where it was lining up the way that I wanted it. The NOS piece, it's real tight fit, and I'm really having to pull down on this part of the uh, panel to get it to bolt up, so I'm just not sure yet. I want to go ahead and try to fit the bumpers to it once I get the lower balance in, but I can't find them. I have tore this hillside up looking for them and I don't know where they're at. The last time I remember they were in the shop area but I have tore that place all to pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and take this header panel back off and I'm gonna put the new old stock one on and I'll show you a few things about it. Okay, YouTube, got the upper header on, and overall not too bad. It's new metal, no rust pitting on the inside. That's what worries me about my original piece. There was a lot of pits in it, and I'm just worried about the rust in between the seams where the panels are lapped together, the top piece and the bottom piece, and also the, the inner structure around the uh, nose opening. So I'm a little worried about that. I'll go ahead and show you this panel. 
I think what I'm gonna do, since I've already had to cut on this panel once and get everything lined up, the original piece will need a little work. I would have to work on this area right here, not much, but it would need some. And since I'm gonna have to do that, I might as well just continue cutting on this one. I'll go ahead and fix the issues it's got. And by the time I do all that, it should drop in and, and be okay. Also, what I'm hoping is that once it's on the car for a while, I'm gonna leave it bolted up while we work on our doors and work on the quarters. Maybe it'll get a little bit of uh, memory to it and, and help it for when we get to final assembly. Let me show you this panel. All right, guys, there we are. Now, let me show you the worst of it. Worst of it continues to be this edge right here on the passenger side. It's almost as if it's just a little short. You see, we got some daylight showing through there. So probably what we'll do is, is split this piece and hammer it over just a little bit and put us a piece of rod in there, weld it up. I've got some new old stock bezels for it and I'm gonna try to source some used ones. Don't really care if they've got some dings or anything, but I would like to have it mock these up before I go to cutting anything. I don't wanna break out the shiny stuff for mock up. Down here, we've got about the same thing on the other side as we got over here, the fender's hanging down a little bit. We'll probably wind up making a relief cut right in here and folding this over just a little bit more if we can. The contour is there and I might could have pulled this out a little bit more. It's almost like I need two people because I need to be able to hold it in place and then I need somebody to cinch it down for me. Got about the same gap, about a finger between my bracket and the header. Driver side's a little tighter. Like I said, now this isn't tight, so I mean that's part of it right there. I could probably pull it, pull this out, cinch it down, and I mean I could get a finger in there. Not too worried about that yet, because like I said, the bottom panel. If a bottom panel pulls it in just a little bit, we're going to be all right. The side over here is a little bit better. It's still more the same. The fender is hanging down just a little bit. Actually a lot. So it just took me a straight edge and uh, kind of just drew me a line right in here. And of course, we're going by the very bottom of the edge here, not up here. So we'll, we'll have to see how that's going to work out. There is a piece that lays in here. You get the idea. It does lay in there. It may not even matter once this piece is in. There's the upper part. This side actually looks pretty decent. I can see a little bit of daylight in there. I'm not sure how tight this is supposed to be. You guys let me know what you think, if this should be as tight as could be or you know, once everything is in here and you got all the stuff that goes in here, it's going to be blacked out and all one color. So that is our upper header panel. Well guys, that's going to do it for this episode. The next episode we'll be putting the lower valance on. I can already tell you that it comes with a whole different set of problems. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna to try to keep these videos around the 20 minute mark. I don't want them to get too long. And I'll try to keep you as updated as, as much as I can on the build of this car. I appreciate all my subscribers. I appreciate everybody watching. I appreciate all the comments. I try to respond to all of them. And I hope I can continue to do that. And when I have a little bit more progress, I'll be back online. Thank you guys.